controversy over a drag story hour in Enfield originally forced organizers to cancel the event, but this evening, there's a solution. A college library has now offered to host that story hour. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts joining us live from Enfield with the details. Amanda. Yeah, Mike and Keisha, organizers tell me while they've received a lot of backlash, they've also received a lot of support, and they hope more than anything that they can educate people. In Enfield, a drag story hour has caused quite a stir. After we announced the event, um, we had some severe pushback. Um, there were insinuated threats that came to us um, in many of our social media platforms as well as email. The event featuring drag entertainer Felicity V. Lay, an Enfield native, was set to take place at the public library until those threats were made. I was pretty hurt especially because I did grow up here in Enfield and I do know a majority of the people who are from here. And then seeing all the, the different comments, all just all the backlash that came towards it. Enfield Pride pulled the plug on the event. Reverend Dr. Greg Gray is president. It is an event that is aimed at children and I don't want to have children placed in um, in harm's way. But when they canceled, we got all kinds of messages of love and support saying, I am so sad that this event was canceled because I was so excited to bring my kids. Then Gray got a Facebook message that said, you know, hi, I'm the librarian at as Nuntuck. And how would you feel about us uh, being willing to host the event. He said the LGBTQ plus student group at Connecticut State Community College as Nuntuck is even getting involved. With the event back on, Felicity says she's excited to show the community what drag is all about. Yes, it's fun, but I use it as a tool of education for people who might be a little offset by what a drag performer does. We are not bad people. We are here to help spread joy and excitement and fun. Now that drag story hour will take place on April 20th at 10 a uh, 10 a.m. That's a Saturday here in Enfield and Enfield Pride says they will have campus security at the event. Live in Enfield, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you.